No, I hear you. And so was it fun seeing all the other adaptive athletes killing it and like grinding out their workouts? Always. Yeah, that was probably my favorite part. I, like, if I had to do it again, like the only thing I wish, like I think I would change, want to change is like if I either went first or last, like in the first heat or the last heat. Because then it's like I could have had, like we were kind of like right in the middle. So like we missed out on like four heats warming up like trying to get ready for the next thing like at least at the first with the even i almost prefer first so that way i can just get it done and sit and watch everybody else because i'm warming up while they're all still taking a little nap you know in between then i'll watch them for a bit and then go take a nap but it was fun to i mean just seeing what some of these other people had to overcome i'm like i kind of have it easy like I have use of both my feet, my legs, both of my arms. Like I have, yeah, I don't have any neuro issues. Like, and my brain's working fine. Like, mm -hmm. like, but some people would tell you otherwise, but I mean, for the most part, physically, my brain is working fine. <laughs> 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 but so it's like, you know, some of the stuff, like, you know, we, some of the people we saw, like, I'm like, you know, props to you, like for not letting that get you down. Like, you know, this is amazing. Yeah. Do you, do you think that people want to be, um, what do you call it? I'm trying to think. Cause like, obviously you see people with like one arms doing clean and jerks and stuff like that. And like, everyone's like, Oh my gosh, that's so inspiring. Do you, do you think that like, you know, you guys want to be looked at like that or do you just want to be like, Hey, I'm just here to work out and try to win. Like that's, that's a, I kind of don't like that word to an ex like it's not my favorite um because to me like saying inspiring means that like i'm an inspiration means that like you're looking like less of me like you almost see me as less exactly less yeah person. that's kind of how i feel um now if you come up and tell me like i'm being a badass i'm like yeah fine like i'll take that one or think anything like that but like kind of that inspiration like great like i'm i'm gonna accept the compliment but it's not my favorite i i, I am not a big a fan of, of that, that either that. yeah yeah it's like like you just think that i can't do something because of the way i look like but i can i can do the exact same things you can i'm actually doing it better than you because i'm watching you and <laughs> I know you're five rounds behind me and I'm, I'm like hanging out while like finishing the workout. And yeah. I did the same. I did the same. I didn't even like adapt it for me. I did the whole thing. <laughs> so like, yeah. was, uh, I, I was one, is it Fran? Is it Fran? The 21, 15, nine push thruster pull-ups. Like, yeah. First time I ever did it. Like I did it at the 95 pounds and everyone was like, I did it in like just under right at six minutes, I think. Damn, that's 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 impressive. Yeah, it was. I mean, that was when I was like you know, kind of tip top. Like I did, I had a little bit more weight on me, so I was still trying to figure out pull ups though. Like that's kind of what slowed me down. The pull ups are what slowed me down the most. So I'm still yeah. playing around with them, trying to figure out which one I like the best. But um, someone comes up to me from the like they they walk up and like like what are you gonna do it in? I was like I don't know. Like you tell me. <laughs> And like, I finish it, and like I go up to them, and they're like, "Are you done yet?" I was like, "Yeah." I'm like, what? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, like that's it. Like that was all I did." <laughs> so, so, so with the pull, so with the pull-ups, is it? Are you, are you doing butterflies, or are you, is it mainly just like strict, or you're just kind of like figuring out um, how to? It's MacGyver. kind of like. I'm doing my best with like butterfly. I'm trying to learn butterfly as best as I can, but um, it's still kind of getting it all to click properly. Like there's a couple, like I call it my, like I call it like my Peter Pan movement, like in hook when he's learning how to fly again. Like he yep. realizes he's flying and he says, Oh no. And then he falls. Like, that's kind of what I, that's how I call it. Like I start getting it and I'm like, this is it. <laughs> and then as soon as I say, this is it, I lose it. I'm like, ah. You just not. You just need to stop saying this is it. 
I got yeah, it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it was the same thing with double unders at first. I was like, this is it. I got it. I got it. And then trip up or smack myself in the back of the head. And I'm like, all right, come on, Tim. <laughs> yeah, that, that was me with Toast Bar for a while. Like, I finally was just like, okay, I could string a couple and like get the momentum and all that stuff. And then yeah. I'm like, I got it. And then all of a sudden it just like falls apart. And then I'm like doing yeah. singles. And it's just like, I, what, what just happens? Yeah, that's how I've been. Like, I, I finally knock on wood i think i've got them the toes the bar down yep um it's more of a matter of just keeping the endurance up the stamina up on them and being able to hold it long enough because once mm. i get tired and my lats go like that's when i'm like I'm yeah shot. yeah that my my that it's my shoulders that get me yeah same like it's just that pulling down to get the toes up and kind of cheat that not, not necessarily cheat but kind of shut cut that distance down yeah and that's what gets it yeah it, it, that's that's to me with like chest of bars too like i i it, like i'm so long in the arms that it just oh yeah it looks like i'm just flailing all over the place but it's just yeah. like no i'm actually doing it the right way like this is the only yeah. way i have to do it so. so that's like for i think i have like almost the exact opposite problem like my arms are so short that i can't quite pull my chest to the bar to pull like to hit it mm -hmm. so i do a kipping if it's chest the bar i'm doing kipping because it's the only way i can pull myself to even come close to hitting the bar and like kind of stick my thumbs out to cheating well i mean it, i mean it, it, my thing is with the chest of bars if you're getting close and like kind of grazing it a little bit not actually like hitting it i i i mean i think it's fine yeah i mean that you're still chest to the bar so it counts yeah technically so I mean, that's all that matters right <laughs> yeah yeah so so what, once you won real wad in uh in december you know and you came back what 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 was your whole mindset after that were you like okay i got all these goals i want to hit I, I like you know i want to use this i know you said you want to use the platform to you know grow the grow the sport for you guys so uh, for the, for the adaptive athletes, sorry, I didn't mean to say you guys, no, but, right. um, but, but like, what, what were your goals after wheel wad? Um, <clears throat> honestly, as I'm like, going through the workouts at wheel wad, depending on how the workout went, I would text my coach right away and be like, we got to work on this. I got to work on this. I got to do this. Because some of the like issues I was running into were like bar, I called it bar stamina. Like holding on to the bar, yeah. like getting that extra, like instead of taking that break, I know I have three reps left, like just holding on and just sucking it up for those three reps. Like mm -hmm. I was struggling to do that a bit. And um, so I was like, I want to work on this stuff. And then I was like, I want to work on this. And so I was finding the weak, it helped me find my weaknesses and like what I need to really focus on. So, uh, took like a week off after i got done because it's like 11 workouts in four days yeah so and um geez sorry no you're good and um so it, it was just a week off i was like the hardest thing for me to do because i just wanted to get back out and like just do some movement just any kind of movement is all i wanted to do mm -hmm. and like i'm around everybody i was like i'm feeling great i feel awesome and then it turns out that i really wasn't because i tried to work out and on like thursday after i got back which was four days after and i was like yeah i, I shouldn't have done that <laughs> <laughs> like very humbling <laughs> don't, don't mind me i'm just on the rower just sitting here just like barely moving That's the thing exactly don't, don't worry <laughs> how far have i gone how long have i been on this thing you've only gone 25 meters what <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tim, you pulled the thing once and that's the only thing moving. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> but, um, so, so what I, I know you could use a skier, you could use the rower, like mm -hmm. obviously the assault bike is going to be a little bit difficult, a bit like what have you guys, like, ha, have you found a way to like use the assault bike to get the, somewhat of a stimulus? Um, actually they have, um, equip products, which is kind of a company that makes a lot of adaptive equipment that we use um they created basically another bike handle that oh. i turn like instead of sitting down like we face the fan like from the front mm -hmm. and the bike handles are basically an, an extension 
in the middle and we just do all arms there's no legs involved but um that's how we did the bike okay and it was okay. It, it that one was interesting <laughs> um it's definitely it a shoulder workout just, yeah like i uh actually learned like just being around sports in general like i was able to like utilize my body weight as much as i could mm -hmm. so i wasn't necessarily like getting any kind of pulling it was more using my body to shift and turn and kind of make the bike do what i needed it to do yeah okay and i think okay. that's kind of where yeah it took the arms out of the equation essentially because i only time i would bend was you know just to get kind of that extra range so i could push it back further and like the body was doing all the work as best as i could okay so are the are these on the actual like assault bikes or are they on the echo bikes or that can they can they go uh, on both? they actually have them for both like they're two different sets so they have a, a set for like designed for the echo and a set designed for the uh, uh the assault bike oh that's cool yeah so i mean it was i haven't bought them yet i should probably do that i'm getting ready to do that just because it's obviously there so it's something i need to work on um mm. so i'm gonna probably purchase those here probably make it a birthday present for me or something <laughs> Did, may, you know what else you should get you should get one of those wing guard uh like little fan like the covers for the yeah fans. yeah especially around this time so oh man that was the worst part i think was just the air blowing right up into my face <laughs> <laughs> i'm like this feels good but also like i can't breathe right now so <laughs> Yeah, it's like you're like oh, keeping your mouth open the whole time, just to at least yeah. try to get something. You're like, so. yeah. <laughs> and there's a big dust bunny, right? Yeah, of throat. course. Yeah, right down yeah. the throat. Yeah, like with with my gym, it's a, it's like an old powerlifting gym that has like some CrossFit oh. equipment. So they actually have an Echo Bike, and it gets a little dusty in there once in a while. And so sometimes I'm oh. like, when I first start, you'll see like, you see just. Yeah, a little little poof, yeah. and this is like, <laughs> oh my god, I gotta hold my breath for like 10 15 seconds. This is not good, uh, not how I wanted to start this bike right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And even my, even my uh, my my gym buddy, he's like, I don't want to get on the bike, like, it is too cold to even get the, like, yeah. to have the fans just like blast in your face. I'm, I'm good, yeah, that's sweet. Actually, we haven't used them in a while, I, I've seen, but I'm gonna probably get a set here soon so i can actually start using them and get used to it because i know they're going to be in there at some point whether it be i don't think it'll be during the open or semifinals because they won't expect everybody to have the handles true um but at least in the finals like you know we'll know we'll have it so yeah i just gotta do it <laughs> yeah of course so um do you do you like wheel wads separating from from the crossfit games to like have their own little competition or like what what's your thought on that well just with how i've seen like just from what i've heard i can see from like the past two years like as far as coverage goes like for the adaptive and age divisions like i think it's better for us because instead of focusing solely on like kind of being now we're not like the second level like tier like we're we're our own thing so you know we're going to be able to get the spot with the backing of crossfit being able to have instead of 30 athletes go like we're going to have 300 total this year at least that's the plan is to be able to have 300 so you know here i am pushing to go to the games and now i get to go versus like getting invited for a medal ceremony and like you know that's not like it's cool like i appreciate that but it's also like let me do something while i'm there 